All right, there's actually an update right now for Flycast, guys, Flycast Dojo. And uh, I know that I went over with uh, with the features and all that stuff on a previous YouTube video. You can always check that out. Um, but I'll go over things kind of quickly here. Um, but the current Dojo settings are really exciting. This is not the version of Flycast Dojo that's in Fightcade right now. So it's not exactly the same. If you go into test mode in Fightcade, you're not going to get this. But I've been uh, told that it will get pushed to Fightcade eventually. In the meantime, you can always download a build of it. Uh, the current build, which I will highlight is... Let me see. Okay, yeah. The current build is... Let's exit uh, Dojo 0.4.31. And that will allow you to um, take advantage of all these features without, you know, needing to wait for the Flycast build to get updated. Um, that being said, if you do choose to do this, put it in a different directory so you're not messing with your Flycast, uh, with your Fightcade settings, right? Okay, so we're going to go into training mode. I already have all the buttons and things set. Um in case you need to look at where those are, you go into settings, you go into controls, you map your controllers, uh, you go down to the training section, and that's where you can start doing things like uh, quick save, quick load, switch player, right, and recording inputs. This is something I'm going to show off today, but Flycast currently, the current version of Dojo, I don't believe this is on the, the, the build that's out on Fightcade right now, allows you to do random input slots. So you can record up to three options and it will randomly play back whatever of those three that you do. So we're gonna we're gonna go through all that really fast. Um, I'm gonna go ahead into load up the game. I already have a, a slot loaded, a save slot loaded, uh, sorry, a save state loaded uh, that I can run to open up right now to show you guys. So I don't have to go through the settings but just in case you guys are wondering how i got to this point i used um the options screen i would train i changed the versus settings to have unlimited time and then i picked my characters in my stage and then i saved this state uh in the beginning of a round so that i can always come back here if i need to um if i kill this character or if the character kills me i can go back right so i'm gonna push a button on input right and you're gonna see the first change Boom, right there. So immediately you're going to see on the left-hand side, we have a frame counter. This frame counter is broken down in three parts. There's the frame display, there's the direction display, and then there's a button display. So if you push a button. So the way that this works is it works in three parts. The frame display displays how long you held down whatever your input was. Your Direction display displays the direction you were pushing, and it uses numpad notation. So if you don't know what numpad notation is, you look down at the numpad on your keyboard, or open up your phone uh, dial screen, and you can see the number pad on your phone, right? Uh, you know, you have one in the back, bottom right, bottom left, sorry. Two in the, is down. Three is down forward, right? Right? You got four is back, five is neutral. Because it's in the middle. It means you're not pushing any direction. Six is forward, right? Eight is straight up, right? Seven up back. Nine up forward, right? You just look down at your uh, phone's dial pad. You'll, you'll see it. It'll make a lot of sense. So it'll show all that information. How long I held, what direction I held, any buttons that I pushed. Any buttons at all that I pushed, right? Oh, whoops. I don't want to push. Not those system buttons. Not the recording uh, buttons. But if I push more than one, it shows how many I pushed, and it also shows how long I had pushed each one down. So I had one frame, I had my Y button, which is kick, I had one frame down, and then for the rest of the time, I held down Y and X. So it uses the Dreamcast buttons. You do have to remember what those Dreamcast buttons are, but once you get that, you know, once you know what those buttons are, you, you will basically be fine in uh, figuring this out. So there's a couple of reasons why this is really helpful and cool. Uh, the first is, um, I could tell you about it from a Virtua Fighter perspective. Let's say that I'm in neutral and I want to determine how long it takes for, how I want to tighten up my from crouch input, right? So Lao is a really good example. If I push down forward or three and P or X at the same time, I get this. This is a standing move, 
right? It's good. If I push 2 and then 3 and then X, I'll get this, right? This is a different move. But if I mess the timing up, see, I'm pushing 2 and 3 and X, and I'm getting the standing move instead. I can use the frame counter to determine how long I have to be pushing 2 before it's technically crouching, right? This is useful in neutral because I, I don't have to buffer anything. I can just, you know, I could just enter crouch and then go into the three. But I have to determine how long, right? So if I wanted to learn Lao, this is actually pretty useful for me, right? I can, I can narrow that down and start feeling like, oh, am I doing... Am I doing the input too slow? Am I doing the input too fast? It can help me a lot. There's another character, right? Uh, Akira, everybody likes to meme about the one frame knee, which I actually pulled off first try right there. Um, you can practice that in this. You can see that I was pushing Y and A at the same time for one frame, and then immediately I let go of y A within one frame. For a stick, this is not that hard to do. You kind of rub the edge of the button, but I could still mess it up a lot. Like I messed it up right there, right? And I could see where I'm messing up. I mess it up now. I didn't even push A. It felt like I did, but I can look at my input display and say, oh, I was tapping it too light. It didn't show up. I could push them both. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I could push them both and, you know, multiple times and start seeing how, oh, how did that work? How did that work? Now I can see. This number next to me, I can see that I held it down for two frames. And then I let go of the wrong button. Right? So, like, this is really going to help you clean up your inputs, especially on just frames. Very cool stuff. Uh, I like it a lot. I think this is a great feature. Uh, the other feature that I wanted to talk about, and I don't I don't know what cure. I just picked them because of this one frame knee thing. But uh, I want to record three different commands uh for him and kind of make a fake mix up it's not real so don't worry that it's not real but i just want to show you how you can use the random playback um to make mix ups for yourself so i can do uh punch elbow and his elbow is terrible i know um it's actually more important that i stop the recording fast just just to, i'll tell you why uh when i'm when we're doing playback so we'll do punch elbow stop uh while well, i did pp it's fine We'll do PK delayed. That'll be the next one. Or PK, just straight up. Uh, okay, stop recording. Okay. And then we're going to do P dash up throw or something, right? I, I know that that's not great, but whatever. We'll do that. That's our third option. Oh, right. <laughs> I have to... I have to modify the throw for him because his forward throw is actually just a guard break, which is... It's actually interesting. Maybe I could practice it. You know what? We'll, we'll do that. We'll set that up. Why not? Because you want to duck the, that just like you would want to duck a throw. So let's uh, let's set that. Okay. Slot three. Right. Okay. That's slot three. So we'll do that. Okay. So now I can push random playback. Let's switch over. So I'm player one again. Okay. Now let's try and defend against this. Random playback. So it, it, it played slot three. Play slot one, right? Now, obviously, if you're staring at the bottom, you're going to know what he did. But the idea is you can use this to practice timings. Oh, can I fuzzy here? No, not really, because if I'm if he does that, I can't fuzzy, right? If he does the, the PP, I can't fuzzy that. If I if he does that, if I go to fuzzy, I'll get I'll get blown up by the dash. This is all maybe wrong, but like, you know, I don't play this character, so I don't know for sure what's airtight with him and what's not. But, uh, yeah, the idea is you can do this um, to learn a lot more. All right, again, this version, I want to show really fast. This version, uh, I'm going to hit this exit. Oh, you can also turn the input display off and, and all of that stuff, right? So you don't have to have this on. Um, I find it useful, but you might not. Anyway, this version, again, 0.4.31. So definitely go ahead, check that out if it's something that interests you. I think it's very cool. I think that we're going to have some really interesting things develop out of this. And uh, I'm really looking forward to this being incorporated into the Ficade um, build currently so that everybody has it without having to download a separate uh 
instance of this uh, Flycast Dojo and run it separately. Because I know some people might get deterred from doing it for that reason. But uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoy. And I hope you find it useful. Um, just very off the cuff thing. I Hopefully I didn't miss anything this time like I missed last time. I had to put in the uh, description um, how to swap controls. Because I didn't show that. But uh, this time, I think I showed everything. So hopefully, you guys will get all the info, uh, and you don't have to worry too much about it. All right. Thanks so much. Uh, enjoy. And uh, yeah, play more VF, guys. All right. See you.